My name's uh, First Lieutenant Tanner Oxer. I'm with Apex Battery 282FA. Uh, so today we're out here um, supporting our brother and sister battalions during their combined arms live fire exercise, CALFEX uh, for short. Um, we just provide their artillery fire for their uh, maneuvers, whether that be breaches, um, FPFs, anything of that nature, just uh, make sure they're taken care of. Uh, the significance of it is it's a true test of all of our systems. Um, it's a test between the forward observers, the fisters, um, battalion, us, our communications equipment, our fires equipment. Um, all of it has to work together pretty seamlessly to make everything work out just right. Uh, so I am a platoon leader, uh, first platoon in Apex Company, and uh, I'm along with my smoke, I'm a overall organizer and supervisor. Uh, I run between um, the FDC, Fire Direction Center, and the guns, um, making sure that everything is going smoothly. If there are any issues, I make sure that I'm at that point of friction, as well as my platoon sergeant, um, just to make sure everything goes as it should. We have already been through um, an entire artillery table progression all the way from uh, table one all the way through table 15. Um, so we've had true tests of section, which is table five and six. We've had um, platoon training, which is tables 11 and 12. And then we've had battery training, which is 14 and 15. Um, so we fired a lot here in the past probably six months, uh, making sure that everything was good to go and our chiefs are good and certified. 
and now we're just out here putting it all to use. Uh, the I think the goal of this training is just to just to show that everybody can work together, uh, form a pretty lethal force um, without too many hiccups along the way. Honestly, the guys, 13 Bravos and Juliets, they're uh, characters for sure. Um, got to be a little bit goofy to be in artillery, and it always works out. You're always having a good time. Um, you know, there's a lot of waiting, so you get to know everybody pretty well. Self-propelled self howitzer system. So it's a 155 millimeter. It's the same as the 777 uh, round-wise, except it can move itself. It doesn't require towing or uh, spade digging or anything like that. All you do is pull up, get on azimuth, occupy the position, get dry fire verified through the FDC, and you're ready to fire. Um, I think specifically the Alpha 7, our digital systems are leaps and bounds of where, uh, ahead of where they were with the Alpha 6. Um, it just makes things really easy. Now that's not to say we don't train degraded. We train degraded every week, every other week. Um, but the Paladin, it just makes life really simple, and really easy. Uh, everything you need is right there on the uh, screen that the Chief is looking at. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Kalen Wilson. I'm assigned to 282 FA. Uh, I'm a section chief for Alpha 1 2. Today, this week, we've been doing a Califex, land protective fire over another battalion's movement, way down wherever they are. Uh, just basically making sure they can maneuver safely and, you know, retreat if have to or, you know, assault through. All right. It's a great training to conduct for um, multiple reasons. Number one, we got to make sure the infantry guys down there are able to maneuver and get around where they need to be. Um, we have the ability to shoot a loom round, so if it's too dark or they can't actually see, you know, we can shoot a loom over the sky so they can see through the night. Um, if they need to smoke out of area, you know, we can lay suppressive Willie peat. Um, just making sure that it keeps the enemy shook up and not know what's going on, going on next. I'm serving as a section chief and I'm here to verify data. I'm here to make sure each round and fuse is correctly placed into the tube and into the breach. Um, and overall, making sure my guys, you know, practice safety 100% and have a good time. You know, this is training right now, but training can lead on to, you know, the real world. So it's a four man crew. Uh, my driver, he makes sure we can get on azimuth and, you know, he leads us to where we need to go. He has a special little navigation system going on in there. My number one man, he makes sure that the, the breach gets primed. Uh, most of his time is conducting maintenance. But um, in a fire mission scenario, he makes sure that the round gets loaded properly and primed. And he also hooks the lanyard and pulls the string. I have my gunner behind me. He loads the charges. Um, other than loading the charges, he kind of is a secondary verify, verification for me, making sure, you know, I'm verifying the data correctly and everyone's a safety. So we need to be able to do our crew drills properly, shoot rounds safely, communicate with our FDC and battalion effectively, that uh, making sure we're not shooting too close to, you know, friendly, whether it's our guys or other allies.